What is up guys? So I just got a new live target popping frog and I got about one hour left to do it. So I thought I'd go out here and test it out. Temperature dropped today. It's currently about 64. It was 74 yesterday. So about 10 degrees difference, but maybe they'll be munching. Let's find out. This is usually a really good topwater pond as well. See, there's one right there. Came up and munched it. Came up and munched it. It's very subtle. Didn't even really give me any indication. It felt like a big one too. Got a mondo. Big old frog on the lunker. Let's see this. Caught a big old bass on the live target frog. Right there, baby. That's a big one. Nicely done, buddy. Thanks for the tug. I was wondering. It took a lot longer than I expected. The temperature really doesn't change in the water that quick. It's there. But I think sometimes whenever the temp fluctuates like this, they just eat like crazy. That's a good one. This is a little bit bigger of a fish. This one's a little bigger. Flip him on up. Thank you. There's a topwater stud for you. Probably a two and a half, three pounder. Right in the corner. It's like a post spawn, maybe a little bit. Awesome. To a tub, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we found a shoreline here where they're finally stacked up. I was just saying that uh, these fish, whenever they experience a dramatic temperature change, they sometimes start feeding because they think it's going to get cold again. Two bass for Mr. Live Target Frog. Why won't you get me a big one right now? Come on, Frog. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I know you want this. I know you want this live target. I know you want this live target all up the gold gullet for dinner. So I'm working the frog right now, and how I was working it when I caught that fish was a pop, pop, stop, pop, pop, stop, pop, pop, stop, pop, pop, stop, and creates that kind of gurgler kind of sound. It really look, looks like a frog's kicking across the surface. There's another one. Missed that one. Missed that one. I don't think he, I don't think he had anything in his mouth, so... Let's see if we can get him to eat again. He might eat again. So what I'm doing here is just working the edge of this pond really good. Like, I'm casting it one right by the bank. A second cast probably about eight foot further out than that, and then I'm throwing one more out in the middle just to kind of cover this triangle of area, because typically the bass are going to be right here on the edge of the pond where it drops off, ready to ambush minnows or frogs or um, bait fish, bluegill, whatever they're munching on at the time. So that's typically what I like to do when I'm fishing a pond kind of dissect it in a way and then once you complete that last third throw that was the furthest out you take about five steps and recast right down by the bank and you can be closer further away I feel like I've 
having a little better luck on the first cast, which is uh, about five feet off the bank. So, just to give you guys a little insight of what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to fish as fast as I can. Oh no, another one got off. That was a freaking good one. That was a good one. What happened? My freaking drag slipped? Oh my goodness. That was a good one. I highly doubt he will eat again because I know for a fact he felt that. Freaking drag was not set. What an amateur. Freaking amateur move, bro. Alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We're messing up here big time. That's like three bass that I lost. On top water, and they're not merging again. Once they eat it once, they're like, "No, sir, That one felt pretty good too. That's the best thing about losing a fish is that they can be as big as you want. And that was a ten pounder. I know it was. It was a ten. The water looks so cool right now. Reflecting that sunset, man, it looks awesome. You only see that first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Oh my goodness! That was a Mondo! That was him. That was the Mondo. That was him. I felt it. There he is. That's him. That's a good one. I lost him and he came back and got it. Woo! This one's a good one. This one's a stud. I can tell. Don't you shake it? Oh yeah, definitely the biggest fish of the day. Woo! I knew there was a tank in here, guys. There you go. Live target. Live action. Damn it. Wish I could take a picture, but you're gonna have to just do a GoPro video with this guy. Not a bad fish. Alright, that's a beautiful fish right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Stood. All right, guys. So that was not a bad fish for the live target popping frog. Let's see if we can find one more. Oh my goodness. That's a tank. That's a that's a giant. That's a topwater tank that we were coming here for. Whoa! Holy smokes, guys! I did not expect to catch this big of a fish. Holy cow! Another mondo! Woo! Freaking hammer time, baby! Hammer time! Look at that frog. It's getting a short night, guys. Frog is getting crushed. All right. So, again, here's the frog. Live target. Stud. That's no joke, probably a solid five. Maybe five and a half. I don't have my scale with me, but beautiful fish. Let's get All right. Nice shot of this butte. Go. go make some babies and keep this pond nice and healthy. Oh yeah, she's good. It's probably a horrible release, I wasn't looking at the camera, but that's a good sized fish for topwater, baby. Yeah. You know, it's just awesome when you get a new frog. 
first time using it and you just tear them up. So my overall review of this frog right now has got me pretty stoked. Um, this is a live target popping frog. I don't know the color. I think it's called emerald. I'll post it down in the description below, but this thing's got a yellow body, underbody with that kind of an orange head. And again, that popping face, man, it just drives them crazy. You guys could see that on GoPro, but that was absolutely insane. I just seen a freaking another five pounder probably go airborne for a bluegill. I seen the bluegill come out of the water. I seen the, uh, the bass. It was insane. I don't know if you guys could have seen that because it was a little further away. There's a big bass out here somewhere around there somewhere. That was one of the same things I have ever seen. Recently. Oh my goodness, that's him. It's a good one. Another good one. I don't know if it's him, but it's another good one. What an excellent night fish. Woo! Man! Destroyed it. Not as big as the last one. Maybe you guys can see this right now. Check the light out here. And of course, it's almost gone, but let me illuminate him for you. There you go. Look at there, man. Topwater stud. Frog came right up his mouth right then. That one's probably still uh, ready to spawn. But we're gonna get a quick release on this one. <sighs> yeah, this frog gets an excellent review for me. Not gonna lie. This was a good buy. Stoked on this one. All right, I know you guys probably can't see me, but hopefully you can with this light. That concludes an epic top water sesh, man. Again, the water is pretty warm still, but uh, the temperature dropped today from about 10 degrees in what is yesterday, and they were munching tonight. Um, seeing a freaking huge bass blow up on a bluegill come shooting out of the water. I don't think the one that I just caught was it, but uh, it was an epic night of fishing, top water slade, the uh, top water frog, popping frog, I'll leave it in the description just so you guys can check it out if you guys want to. Highly recommend it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, tie lines.